Here we are in section 2-2 exercises numbers 32 through 37 dealing with adding or subtracting fractions. So here for reference we have the steps for addition. Here we have the steps for subtraction. All right, number 32. So 7 and 4 fifths minus 9 tenths. So down in subtraction, we got to have the strongest guy on top. So 7 is certainly stronger than 9 tenths. So we're going to have 7 and 4 fifths minus 9 tenths. Okay, common denominator. Uh, we got fifths and we have tenths. So let's go through the multiples of five. Five times two is ten. Oh, look, we can make it just by changing the five. That's great. So we times by two, times by two, and we get eight tenths. This guy doesn't have to change, but I'll write it again. Nine tenths. Scribble those guys out so they don't mess us up. And now we have seven and eight tenths minus nine tenths. Okay, so eight tenths minus nine tenths. Notice. We have to, we're going to subtract the numerators, 8 minus 9. We can't do that, so we've got to have the strong borrowing by denominators. So we've got to borrow from here, and that makes us 6. And over here, that means it gives us 10 more of those. we got 10 tenths coming over here. So that means we have uh, 18 tenths. Whoo! Scribble that guy out to make sure we can do that now. 18 tenths minus 9 tenths is 9 tenths. And 6 minus 0 is 6. Okay, so that's what the borrowing was by the denominator. Remember, we used tenths in this case, which in this case is very much like decimals. We could have done 7.8 minus 0.9. And same thing, when you borrow from the 7, it would have made that 18. Cool connection to decimals there. Anyway, we have strongest one wins. So the strongest one was a positive. So there we have it. Strongest one wins. Positive. Hey, okay, number 33. 7 eighths plus 9 and 2 thirds. Uh, let's write it like this. 7 eighths plus 9 and 2 thirds. Okay, common denominator. Um, yeah, common denominators. Uh, 8 and a 3, so 8 times 2 is 16, nope, 8 times 3 is 24, oh look, we're going to times by 3, we're going to make these each 24ths, so that's going to times by an 8 and times by an 8, yep, 8 times 3 is 24, so we get 21 24ths, and this guy is 16 24ths, there we go, so now let's add them, 21 plus 16 is 37, 37 24ths, and then 0 plus 9 is 9. So right now we have 9 and 37 24ths. Notice we have to carry by the denominator. So really, 24 24ths out of this 37, so 24 of them, go over and do a plus 1 right there. So 37, take away 24 of them, uh, that leaves 13. 24ths. 24 24ths comes over here and makes the 1, and so that's 10 and 13 24ths. Whoo! We might do that. Let's do that a little bit slower. So we've got 37 24ths. That breaks apart into 24 24ths and 13 24ths. Can you see that? That this guy right here then, that's the number 1 that got carried over there. That's a tough one. Okay, let's try the next one. 12 and 11 sixteenths minus 19 and 3 eighths. We're subtraction. We've got to put the strongest on top. So we do negative 19 and 3 eighths is stronger than the 12. So that's a 12 and 11 sixteenths right there. Good. Okay, now we got to get a common denominator. So make them both sixteenths. 8 times 2 is 16. So that one won't change at all. So we get 6 sixteenths and 11 sixteenths. Okay, so this is now gone. Negative 19 and 6 sixteenths, 12 and 11 sixteenths, good. Now we have to subtract the numerator, 6 minus 11. We can't do that without borrowing. So we're going to take away 1 here, that's an 8. And over here, we're going to, again, it says borrow by denominator. So that is that we're going to add 16 sixteenths over here. So we actually have 22 sixteenths over here. And that guy's now gone. 22 sixteenths minus 11 sixteenths. Yes, we can do that. 11 
16. So that's 22 minus 11 gives us 11 16. And 8 minus 2 is 6. And 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay. Strongest one wins. The strongest one was negative. So the answer is negative. 6 and 11 16. Ooh, that was a good tough one too. Anytime we need to subtract, get common denominators, and borrow, that gets pretty tough. Okay, next one. Number 35, 1 32nd minus 11 32nds. So we're going to do it with the strongest one up on top. So 11, sorry, 11 twelfths minus, no, that's a negative, and then 1 32nd. Okay, common denominators. Let's find those first. That's a good point. We should find those first. This is going to be tough. I don't know my 32 times tables very well, but if we break it down, this is 8 times 4, and that's a 2 times a 4, and that's a 2 and a 2, and that's a 2 and a 2. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And 12 broken down is 2 and a 6, which is a 2 and a 3. So we have 2 times 2 times 3. So if we're going to create a common denominator down here, we have um, got to get the five sets of five twos and then one three. Those are the biggest sets of twos because that's only two twos. That's five twos. So we got to have five twos and a three. Okay, so timesing this all up, two times two times two times two times two is that's 32 times three. That's going to give us the common denominator. So we really have, we're going to times this by 3, times this by 3. And let me see, uh, that is 96. 96, which is 12 times 8. So we really have the problem. 396, so 1 times 3 is 3, 32 times 3 is 96, minus 11 times 8, that's 88. 96. So we put the strongest one up on top. Let's put it up here back to our color. Negative 88 96 and then a 3 96. 88 minus 3 is 85 96. And the strongest one wins, which the negative does. There we go. 85 96. Wow, that was a pretty interesting one. Okay, number 36. 5 and 2 thirds plus 3 and 1 fifth. Let's write that out here. 5 and 2 thirds plus 3 and 1 fifth. Oh, look, we just need to get common denominators. We won't need to borrow. We may need to carry, but we don't need to borrow. That's nice. So common denominator between a 3 and a 5. Let's go with the multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15. Yes, 5 times 3 will do it. So we times by 5, times by 5. And times by 3, times by 3. And we get 10 fifteenths. And over here, 3 fifteenths. And cover those up so they don't mess us up. Okay, now let's continue to add. 10 fifteenths plus 3 fifteenths is 13 fifteenths. 5 plus 3 is 8. Oh, look, we didn't even need to carry at all. That was nice. Number 37. 5 sixteenths plus 5 24 Ooh, common denominator. I don't know about 16 and 24. So let's do the prime factorization. 2 times 8, which is 2 times 4, which is 2 times 2. So we get 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And on 24, that is uh, 3 times 8. That's 2 times 4, 2 times 2. So we get 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Good. Now let's make the common denominator down here, which is, uh, let me see, got four twos and a three. So remember the biggest set of twos and the biggest set of threes in there. Good. So that is, um, let me see, right there is 24, three times two times two times two times two is 48. So we're going to turn them both into 48s. Let's do that. Let me see. We'd have to times this guy by a 3 and this guy by a 2. So we get 5 times 3 is 15 48s plus 10 48s. 15 plus 10 is 25 
48. Done. Those are some tough problems. Good.